Hello again. Welcome to another Bruno's Guitar Garage. You're looking at my pedal board, my Antigua Strat, and this is the Laney with the picture of Bruno on it. Not using that, we're plugged into the Marshall Origin 50. We're looking at the board because today I've got the most supernatural shoes on ever. Matsy Big Hint. Supernatural. Digitech. Supernatural ambient reverb. I don't know if you can see me or not. I'm just guessing here. Um, about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit later than that, I'm not sure. These were released as a limited edition. For, I don't know. Limited edition something. Um, they came with a glow-in-the-dark thing that goes around there, which is in the box. The bloke kind of <laughs> kept the box and I got that too. Um, they came with a funky rubber thing that goes over that so you don't lose your settings, which is impractical for some, but, you know, not a bad gesture. Thank you, Digitech. Um, it's stereo. It has a switchable buffer, which I have on because trailing delays and that sort of shit. It has a lot of modes here. Um, where are my glasses? Can't fucking read them. Here we go, I can see again. Um, left to right, clockwise. Plate, plate with modulation, shimmer. That's the biggie. Supernova, shine, furb, which I think is flanged reverb. I'm not sure. Not that little cartoon bloke from that children's television show. And the last one is spring. Not the season, but that's the sort of thing you expect from this thing. This was designed to be weird, but fun and usable as far as I'm aware. Um, all the controls are bang on noon. I might adjust them down a wee bit just so they're not going crazy. Um, this thing's on because we don't care too much about what the guitar's doing. This is the compressor. My knee might be in the way. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, it has a funky blue LED in it, which isn't glaring like this. It's just a little bit a little bit subdued, a little bit ethereal, I guess. Um, our controls are mix, liveliness, not tone, liveliness, and decay. Which is what I suspect this puppy's all about, you know, just being a little bit weird. So here we go. Um, that's a clean sound. Nah, just kidding. Um, all the controls on the guitar are wide open. Get myself a pick. sounds like an organ. It's a big, stonking, lush sound. It's really pretty, especially for a digital pedal. Um, what you can do, this is where I learned this trick, is you just turn everything up. You don't really need all that decay. That's where it can get really weird. So we'll put everything back up to noon. Um, the controls on this aren't smooth. They sort of, there's tiny little notches. Um, like when an analog clock, uh, analog clock or an analog, analog watch is going That's what it feels like. They're, they're notched, but they, they're, they're smooth at the same time. It's, I just feel like it's a really well-built pedal. Um, that was plate. We'll go to plate mod, shall we? sort of hear it swirling. Just do a bit more mix, eh? The mix is now at about 1.30. Yeah, you can hear it squirming away. Shimmer. Shimmer, I think this was one of the first pedals to do the shimmer thing, like, really well. And it sold it to 
my old mate and me. I'm not sure if he's still got his or not. I sold mine years ago because I'm a moron. And uh, this just popped up, so I thought, you know, fuck it, I'll have it. <laughs> I just think that's such a cool sound. <sighs> I'll leave some more mix in, so I'll leave that about two. We'll bring the other two back to noon. What's this? Supernova. I think this one's like shimmer, but a bit more intense. <laughs> Isn't it? That's what that is. Go to shine. What does this go do? keys on playing with this thing. halfway point between shimmer and um thank you supernova all right ferb so we've got two left ferb and then we've got plate okay so it's phased reverb <laughs> from the 70s. Wowee. Last one is spring. You know, should be. Oops, don't need to pick any more apparently. Just uh, put that there so you can see I'm playing with my, you know, organic picks, I guess people will call them. Thank you. 
this means. Just have a bit more of that, eh? <laughs> Jesus, 16, five, six years I haven't had one. Really quite like it, and I'm kind of bummed, because, you know, I haven't even had this thing a week, the old Sky Surfer, which in and of itself is a very good pedal, especially for what you pay for it. But just because this has a bit more wank going for it, I think I might leave that one on the board. Oh dear, what am I doing? This is that um, GAS thing people on the internet like to talk about, where they just sort of buy things and... Uh, so it's all downhill from here, people, I tell you what. Um, so anyway, don't know what's coming next, but there you go. Talked about one of those, finally. Very good pedal, very well built. It's heavy. Digitech hardwire stuff is built strong. Sounds good, as you can tell, I hope. This is no exception. If you can find one and you like that kind of weird, spooky-sounding dark reverb. Well, you know, not dark, that's wrong. Mystical? Fucking hell. I'm going to need an Italian swear jar. Anyway, that's another Bruno's Guitar Garage. Back shortly with fuck knows what, you know? Just, uh, you know, don't die and be good and all that usual bollocks.